Hello, YouTube subscribers, viewers, and fans of my works. I am Awesome Star Wars Stop Motions and other random videos, bringing to you another episode of My Army Update and Action Figure Review. The first item I'd like to present is not Star Wars, actually. It is another work from George Lucas from Indiana Jones. I bought on eBay for $45 these 40 Russian troops, all with AK-47s, I just thought they would look neat in my room. Um, now I'm starting to question why I bought them. Oh, you know what? I might use them as Nebu's army in a future episode of the 501st. Well, enough about them. Let's move on. It's a little crowded in here since I'm also filming the 501st Season 2 finale, so the rest of the episode, I guess, will have to be on my bed. Well, I got these Wookiees, which I believe are just different variations of Chewbacca. Anyway, I used them as part of the Wookiee army in Episode 3, Conquer of Kashyyyk, of the 501st in Season 2. I also got this lovely Ethorian, uh, the first Ethorian in my collection. Uh, he's lovely, actually. My favorite of the new ones so far. Um, he, I used him as a Jedi in Episode 8, Mission to Ilum, of the 501st. I also got some Rebel Soldiers from the Battle of Hoth. Um, I believe the two on the left, these two, uh, I believe that's Han Solo and Luke Skywalker. The rest are, uh, soldiers. I also acquired a few other troops from the Rebel Alliance, with the one on the left and the right being, um, Rebel Troopers that served on the Tantive IV. And the center figure is a Rebel Commando from the Battle of Endor. I'll be acquiring more of those soon. But, you know, enough with the Rebel Alliance. Let's show you what I got for the Empire. That would be... A total of 10 new Stormtroopers. Um, they're odd. I mean, I have other Stormtroopers like this too, but the only difference about them is their midsection doesn't move. Anyway, they're great figures. They expanded my Imperial Army greatly. And I got them for $5 a piece on eBay. Another action figure series I've been getting into recently has been the Black Series. Um, I've gotten, since our last episode, I've gotten five new figures from the Black Series. I don't, uh, I don't usually buy them out of the store like that anymore, because they're ten dollars, people. Come on, that's insane. Well, anyway, this is the first, um, Black Series soldier I got, Biker Scout, Imperial Trooper. The one thing, I mean, I love everything about him, just the one thing I, I have to say I don't like is the head. It's, oh shit, it's placed on this ball joint, and it just moves all over the place, and it's really hard to, to keep up. You want to keep it like that, it falls to the side, or to the back. He's been in almost every episode of the 501st, where they've been um, changed over into stormtroopers. The next figure is the clone sergeant. Now, I love this trooper. Um, gun is pretty cool. It's different. Everything is proportional on this soldier. But one thing I do not like is under the helmet. Let's get him closer there. Look at that face. Oh, shit. Look at that face. It, you can't really see it that well. This camera is a pile of shit, but... They really don't look a lot like uh, original clones. And the action figures or the Tamira Morrison in the movies. You leave the helmet on, however, it's a fantastic figure. I, I love him. Love using him. Uh, only video he was in of mine, I think, was episode 11 of the 501st. Um, that's where Camino creates their own clone army. The next figure is the clone pilot from the Black Series. Same exact um, way put together wise and uh, unfortunately head wise as the 
clone sergeant I just showed you. But still, all together, very accurate looking figure. All together. Um, one of my favorites. And I enjoy looking forward to putting him in one of a, a future episode. Maybe I'll do a Clone Wars movie or something. Because I've gone into the Imperial Times in my 501st show. The next figure is a new Darth Vader. It's the Black Series Darth Vader. He's a very flexible, um, very accurate looking figure. And comes with the lightsaber hilt. You can see it there. And whoa, what did that just do? <laughs> no, that's just some stop motion. No, it comes with the the lightsaber itself and the hilt. Okay, now here's my favorite out of the Black Series. This is Galen Merrick, also known as Star Killer from The Force Unleashed. He comes with a lot of accessories. For starters, he has those two lightsaber hilts and the two blue lightsabers um, from The Force Unleashed 2, I believe. He also has um, that Jedi-looking robe belt thingy. He also has another alternate belt, which looks like that. Here, I'll slip it on him. That's what that one looks like. Now, I prefer the other one better, but just for shits, we'll leave it on. The armor, the chest armor, also comes... And that's what his shirt looks like. Also on the back, there's a hole here for a another accessory he comes with, which is this. It looks like the back armor of a uh, Stormtrooper's armor, the Communicator, I believe. I don't know why he has one. I actually haven't played Force Unleashed 2, so... And that's that. Oh, and these wrist guards, forearm blades he has on. Those come off. Just these little things there. And, yep, that's it. And there he is, holding his two pale blue sabers. Alright, and that's all I have for you today. Um, have a good day. Hopefully, um, the last episode of Season 2 of the 501st will be out soon. And, uh, hopefully, 501st Season 2... Or not season two, sorry, second anniversary. Um, that'll be out soon on February 25th. So, have a good day. Live long and prosper if you like Star Trek. And more importantly, may the Force be with you.